Oh yeah, you know what time it is. After two weeks, Black Clover is back. And oh my god, is it good. First of all, let's take a look at this cover. This cover is great. I think this is probably the best Black Clover cover art I've ever seen. It shows Asta in the front with his new arm looking not well actually because of his recent failure in his mind and then Yami in the background as the object that needs to be saved. Uh, I think the cover art's really well done. I like the colors. I, I didn't know that the demon arm was going to have a red hue in, as well as black. That's cool. Um, yeah, it's just really, really awesome. I, I don't know, this is, this is great. Like, it kind of reminds me, like, of a Berserk cover, and I know that Tabata is actually a fan of Berserk, but, I mean, it's not going to ever go as dark as that, but it feels like it. What, just re Like, I, if I didn't know anything about Black Clover, and this was the first chapter I read and I saw this, I think this was a seinen manga, not a shonen. I would think this is a seinen, and what am I about to get into? This looks awesome. All right, let's get on. So here are some of the highlights in the chapter. Um, Gray has a little bit of a moment. It's not a huge moment. It's more of a commentary on her power set. Um, while Asta's getting healed by that uh, doctor guy, I forget his name. Uh, first of all, they said that uh, Asta's arm is permanent and they don't know the origin of it, so they can't be healed. And second, they're also healing Ghosh at the same time. And he basically says that his his wounds are being healed automatically. And so he said, maybe the nature of your transformation power is something different. So I've always viewed her as an illusionist, because that's what it seemed like. Now it seems like Tabata is basically saying she's a reality warper. And that can be crazy in terms of power scaling if not done right. See Scarlet Witch from Project M or the House of M, if you've ever read that comic, or Franklin Richards from, from Marvel, reality warpers in media generally can get out of flipping control if that's where they're going so tabata if you're going to reality warp like part for her be very careful because she can be extremely overpowered very quickly during this spot vanessa basically says that uh the magic knights are gonna uh, the magic knight captains are all gonna have to get together again uh which will likely be the next two chapters and then the rest of the chapter basically focuses on Asta and his despair. He's having, you know, not good feelings about what's happening. He's not, he's getting used to his new arm. And first of all, uh, I'm not really quite sure what that arm does. Like, I know that it seemingly can take any weapon and make it into an anti-magic weapon. May, or maybe, like, the weapon has to have a lot of experience behind it. You know, like, kind of like how in Berserk, how the Dragon Slayer over time became enchanted by just the, you know, slaying of a thousand souls or whatever it was. So like maybe the Yami's katana was able to be imbued because it had part of his essence in it. I don't know, it's just a speculation thing. But beyond that, I don't know what that arm does because when he got it, he said he could only use it for 60 seconds. So I'm assuming it ramped up his anti-magic to like huge amounts. And then after that, it was done. So now that the arm is like, permanent in the physical does that mean like he can activate it maybe it just glows red 60 seconds a day or something we don't know yet so i don't really know what the heck that arm does um but asa gets out of bed and he runs basically to go save yami and he's stopped by something uh somebody in a mysterious hood so but it, if you've been paying attention to the series you know who this is this is the new black bulls well maybe not new maybe he's been around for a long time this is the black bulls vice captain uh, long story short, he stops Asta's in his track. Uh, Asta has a moment, an emotional moment about Yami. And then we're introduced to the new vice captain, Noct, uh, who he's got, he's that character that has his eyes closed. And whenever I see characters like that, I think of two characters. I think of Serpico from Berserk, or I think of Ling from Full Metal Alchemist. So he makes a, a, his brief introduction, and uh, it's very interesting. He's got a horn on his head. And in another panel, it looks like he's got a little demon pet behind him. I am not sure what is up with this guy. Uh, some people speculate he is possessed by a devil because he mentions he's going to teach Asta how to use his devil correctly, or he used forbidden magic just like Sekirei does. So I don't know. I, it could be a little bit of both. Maybe maybe his magic, he summons like hands out of the ground. 
They kind of look like the hands from the truth from Full Metal Alchemist, or uh, uh, is it Beetlejuice or Betzelgeuse from uh, ReZero? I, I don't know what the, the proper pronunciation, but that guy had a hand power too, so it seems like he can... He has a root power. Like, if we were playing an MMO, his power would be to root people because he's able to summon his hands from the ground and basically stop people in their tracks. But that little, I don't know, spear on his shoulder, maybe he can summon other things too. I don't know. We won't know for a few chapters. I I bet you they'll keep this guy's magic kind of ambiguous for a little bit, and especially if he has devil power and stuff. Or maybe they'll just be right in your face. But uh, it seems like the next couple chapters are going to be Magic Knight's meeting... Uh, Vice Captain basically reintroducing himself, taking over. I'd, I would imagine he was probably doing a like a mission for Julius, so he's gonna have to report to him. Uh, and then from then on, it's gonna have to be maybe a short training arc. I kind of think that would be dumb. Uh, I hope they don't do another training arc because we already had that six year or six month time skip, which I guess the anime is now trying to fill in, and it's not been too awesome with the filler with that. So. I really don't think we need another training arc unless it's short. Unless it's like, if it's like two chapters of like, we need to train you know and Noel and Asta for a couple, you know, a couple chapters, fine. But uh, yeah, also back to what I think Gray, I think Gray is going to be a major player now in this arc. Uh, she's been kind of a way minor character for a long time. She's been just been kind of there like Gordon. Uh, Gordon hasn't really had his time yet either. I imagine it'll either come in this arc or later. So uh, keep a watch out for her. Be careful. She can If she is a reality warper, she is going to be overpowered if you don't do it right. Uh, reality warpers are just out of control. And I guess you could say Vanessa is one too because she controls fate. But I don't know if it's on the same kind of scale. And she has a major weakness is, is, is if her mana is out, that cat can't do crap. So yeah. All in all, this was a this was an awesome chapter. Uh, it was short, uh, but it was to the point, and that's all we needed. So, uh, looking forward to next week. Uh, please, if you're here, uh, leave me a like, subscribe to the channel for more Black Clover and other anime, manga, and video game content, and hit the bell and leave a comment. Love to hear from you. Hope you guys have a great week. Peace.